வணக்கம் இந்த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் வி டிஸ்கஸ் த ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் மாஸ்டர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் மாஸ்டர் டேட்டா ஃபார் போத் த பிபி அண்ட் எம்எம் ப்ராசஸஸ் டு கிரியேட் எ மெட்டீரியல் மாஸ்டர் தேர் ஷுட் பி பேசிக் இன்புட்ஸ் ரெக்வயர்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் தோஸ் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆர் ரா மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் காம்பனன்ஸ் செமி ஃபினிஷ் கூட்ஸ் ஃபினிஷ் கூட்ஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ரிசோர்ஸ் டூல்ஸ் ஸ்பேர்ஸ் பேக்கேஜிங் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் கன்சியூமபிள்ஸ் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ரா மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆர் த மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் விச் ஆர் யூஸ் டு ப்ரொடியூஸ் த ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தே மே பி கன்வெர்ட் இன் காம்பனன்ஸ் அண்ட் யூஸ்ட் அண்ட் காம்பனன்ஸ் டைரக்ட்லி தே பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆர் தே வில் பி மேனுஃபேக்சர் இன் சைட் செமி ஃபினிஷ் கூட்ஸ் ஆர் லைக் எ ஒர்க் இன் ப்ராக்ரஸ் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் தென் ஃபினிஷ் கூட்ஸ் ஆர் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் விச் ஆர் சப்ளை டு த கஸ்டமர்ஸ் production resource tools like uh, you know fixers jigsaws those kind of things they will be used to produce the products spares to maintain the machinery packaging metals to pack the products and send consumables are part of the production to clean the materials or consume like uh, lubrication oil those kind of things what are the different organization levels of a metal master to be maintained the organization levels are client level plant level and store location level we'll see these things as a material in the uh, next session metal master is used by the planning and uh, purchasing departments only true or false false metal master is used by all departments like sales purchase planning warehouse quality accounting and costing departments what is the purpose of basic views to define the basic details about a material like material code description of material unit of measurement size dimensions old metal code etc what are the important parameters in the purchasing view the purchasing view contains purchase unit of measurement purchase group purchase value key though we have not seen the purchasing view in detail i ask this question just to trigger an interest among you which view is mandatory for in house production items work scheduling view is the mandatory for in house production item which view is mandatory for sales items sales views which view is mandatory for purchase items purchase views while creating a metal master we need to key in some important parameters that is what we are going to discuss in this session there are three basic keys first is the material number material number is an alpha numeric key uniquely identifying a material it has a length up to 40 characters and then industry sector that is one character field that controls the screen setup and the screen sequence the sap system includes predefined industry sectors but if any specific requirement does not match the predefined sectors we can create our own and then material type material type is group of materials with similar attributes material type material types allow to manage different materials in a uniform manner for example a metal type can group together materials that are purchased or produced internally or that have no value or which have to be managed with quantity those kind of things sap delivers a set of standard predefined material types but we can create new material types some standard material types are like roh raw materials HILB semi finished materials FERT finished materials HAWA trading materials we will discuss them little more in this session itself a material number is an alpha numeric key uniquely identifying the material with the length up to 40 characters when creating a metal master record each material must have a unique number the number as we said it is up to 40 characters that can be entered either manually or it can be created automatically by system based on the number assignment please note in ecc the maximum length of the metal code was 18 characters only the two ways of defining metal master numbers are first is the internal number assignment this is a number within the defined number range which will be assigned by the system automatically the next is external number assignment here we can assign the number within the defined number range externally we can define the intervals for external number assignments numerically as well as alpha numerically in real world scenarios most companies use internal number assignment when they wanted 
numerical number range for materials so that system automatically assign the unique metal numbers serially and incrementally. In case where alphanumeric number ranges are desired, it is better to use external number assignment. For external number assignment, you can enter the metal number manually. For an internal number assignment, system creates the metal automatically when you save the metal master record. We can also define both an internal and an external number range interval for the material type. The indices sector as a control function in SAP. When you create a metal mass record, the indices sector defines which screens are displayed and in which order, which indices specific fields are displayed on each screen. The indices sector we assign to a metal cannot be changed later. In configuration, we can define new industry sectors and maintain the field reference for field selection control according to the company specific requirements. The configured industry sector must be assigned for each metal master record which are getting created. In general, most SAP customers use just one industry sector for all the metal master records, but it is not necessary, but it is mostly used. SAP has four defined predefined industry sectors like P for pharmaceutical, C for chemical industry, M for mechanical engineering, A for plant engineering. For our course, we are going to use M mechanical engineering. Defining a new industry sector requires choosing a single character to define and identify industry sector and provide the description. The new industry sector must be linked to a field reference. A field reference consists of list of metal master fields and an indicator determining whether an individual field is hidden or displayed optional or required. Those things we will be discussing later. That is field reference. There must be careful consideration when configuring new field references. Materials with same characteristics are assigned to the same material type. Material types include raw materials, semi-finished products and the finished products for example. The material type controls the raw metal assign, sorry, the type of numbers assignment like internal or external, the permitted number range, which screens need to be displayed and in which order, which user department specific data that is the views is assigned and suggested for the material type, which procurement type is permitted for a material. For example, if it is raw metal only the purchasing view is assigned, production view may not be assigned or the procurement type will be assigned as only specific fixed prefixed and also the price control for a specific metal type. Along the plant, the metal type determines the materials inventory management requirement. That is whether the system updates quantity changes in the metal master record or update the changes in value in the stock accounts in financial accounting. The material type also determines which accounts are posted when a metal is posted to stock or leaves the warehouse. Various material types are provided in the standard SAP. If a company needs additional material types, they can define those in the configuration according to the requirements. But those things have to be carefully evaluated then created. Let us brief some standard material types. ERSA spare types, sorry, spare parts. Spare parts are materials used for equipment maintenance in the plant. The metal is purchased and stored like any other purchase items but spare part is not sold and therefore does not contain sales information. If a maintenance item is sold then the metal should use a different material type for example HAWA trading goods. Next FERT finished goods. A finished goods is a material that has been manufactured by some form of production from other items like raw metals and components and semi finished items. A finished good is not purchased normally and so they may not have purchasing information but it's not mandatory some finished goods might have been purchased. However, a finished goods is sold so it may contain the sales views. Yes, it will contain because finished goods are supposed to sell. FHMI is the production resource tools. Production resource tools are purchased and used by the plant maintenance department. This material type is assigned to items used in the maintenance of plant equipment such as test machine, drill bits, calibrating tools, etc. The material type for PRT does not contain sales information because the PRTs are not purchased to sell. 
In addition, PRTs are only managed on a quantity basis. And then HALB, semi-finished goods. Semi-finished products are often purchased or produced and then completed and sold as finished goods. Semi-finished products could come from another part of your company or a vendor. The semi-finished material type allows for purchasing or bulk scheduling but not sales because it is normally consumed within the organization. If a company sells the semi-finished products, then sales use have to be activated. So here, out of these four material types, what we see here, we are going to use FERT finished goods, HLB semi-finished goods. HAWA trading goods. Trading goods are generally materials that are purchased from vendors and sold to customers. This kind of metal type only allows purchasing and sales information because no internal operations are carried out on these materials. An example of a trading good can be found in a, like a, a typical computer manufacturing unit where they sell the manufacturing item like computers, but also they need to sell the printers and routers. So they may not produce these printers and routers. They may buy as a trading item then sell. So this for this kind of items, trading views or trading goods will be used as a material type. ROH raw materials. Raw material is purchased material that is fed into the production process and it will result into a component or semi-finished good or a finished good. No sales data exists for a raw metal because this metal type is not sold generally. To classify a raw metal for sales if needed, then metal type would be changed to HAWA for that is a trading goods. UNBW non-valuated material. This non-valuated material type is similar to NLAG non-stock material except that non-valuated metal is held by quantity not by value. Example of metal type are often in plant maintenance where the materials are extremely important to the plant equipment but of little or no other value. Therefore, the plant maintenance department will monitor the inventory based on quantity to allow for planned purchases. PERP packaging materials. So these are like uh, packaging metal is used to pack the products. Normally it is free of charge to the customer in the delivery process. At the same time, the packaging metal may have value. The physical inventory has to be recorded. So in these four material types, what we discuss later, we will be using HAWA trading goods and also ROH raw materials. Apart from this, there are many other material types are there like for services, and uh, operating supplies, maintenance assembly, configurable materials, non-stock items, pipeline material, competitive products, whatever is you know, needed, we will include them later. As of now, we will go for only these four, ROH, HAWA, HALB, and FERT. These are the four we are going to use in this session in general, mostly. While defining a material type, and assigning the material type to group of materials, they have to be carefully done. That is the prerequisite as part of the SAP implementation. But sometimes, when you are defining the material type of a material, there may be something go wrong. So, a wrong metal type might have been assigned to some materials. This may lead to improper accounting, improper routing, sorry, improper reporting, improper accounting. So, to have a proper accounting, proper reporting, right metal type must be assigned. For example, if a raw material is used for in-house production now and that has to be sold, the metal type need to be changed from ROH raw metal type to HAWA trading goods. This is the reason, right? When you are defining SAPs, the like organization structure or this kind of key decisions like a material types and all, there should be a long-term view for the organization. They should not think about the current status or the next one year. But they should think about next to five years or maybe it's better to go up to 10 years to define the other aspects. So the changing this material type, though technically it is possible, there are several requirements are there to change this material type. You can see this table here. So what is to be done? For example, if the metal with the old type, if it is not a configurable material, when you are going for a new metal type for the specific metal, that should not also uh, no, yeah? non configurable metal. Like this, there are many other things have to be done. In addition, if the metal has any stock, reservation, purchasing documents, etc., changing the metal may require some additional steps. So, it has to be very careful. So, please, you may go through this table just to understand what are all the preconditions when you are changing the metal type of one metal 
from one type to another type. Okay, now we discuss these uh, key parameters like a metal core, industry sector, and material type. Now we are going to the creation of metal master. To create the metal master, translation code is MM01. And there are menu path. The menu path is given in two directions. One is from production menu path also you can go like a production master data metal master like that or from metal management you know that uh, menu also we can go that is shown here both the way when creating the metal master we need to enter the metal code material type industry sector metal number will be entered if it is externally assigned and it will be generated by system if it is internally assigned so now we are going to see that you know when I are creating metal master there are some drop down list that will appear the drop down list when you are using a new system they will be appearing only as a description but normally it will create some confusion for example there may be semi finished good in the material type that will be showing in two lines but there may be a standard metal group metal uh, semi finished type like uh, HILB or they would have customized ZALB like that which is the customer which is standard is difficult to find out so it is normally it is better to give that technical code for that drop down list that is always it's not only this kind of uh, metal master creation but also when you create purchase request and purchase order the document types also it may have this kind of issues now let me show that how to fix those kind of uh, drop down technical codes there so now i will show you that now the initially that the issue how it will look like so let me go to that uh, top is under meantime please note that yeah, whoever is buying the system whether you are buying the uh, public or uh, uh, dedicated please do this activity everyone should do now i am going to mm01 to create material so where i am going through the production menu path uh, which I, I told you right production menu path and here i go to the master data metal master material and then create general mm0 this one we did already in the first session right so here i have to enter the material for example it is externally assigned material so i am entering the metal number whoever who are taking the dedicated server i will send you the list of these kind of codes for who is practicing public server you have your own way to do it and then for a material type see here it is showing configurable until finished product just there is no no halb those things are not appearing here fert HALB for a semi finished wood like that, nothing is appearing. It is just giving the description. Sometimes it will be difficult, no? It is select or you may select wrong thing also. Raw materials it is showing just uh, trading goods it is showing. There is no code here. Right? It will create issues which is the right metal type am I selecting or not? Because selecting metal type is very important, right? And also, when we are going and creating a, a purchase order, right? Here also see the document type now order type here it is showing standard po a drop down list type now it is showing standard po ic sales like that but it is not showing what exactly the the order type that is also very much important because based on the order type many configurations have been done so we need to have this technical course when you have it so for that what we should do so let us do this one now we see that right this screen right the options hope you remember this now for the screen settings we did it we go to the options here we go to that interactions design select that visualization one and here on the right side show keys within the drop down list now we now we are going to show the technical keys right so you have the technical keys that is coming here now apply it and then you okay right not apply and do the work right now when i go to mm01 again let me enter you see now i am able to see the keys right i am able to see the technical keys here like you know trading boot me hwa right now it is clear when i am creating metal master it will be clear for me similarly when i go to the uh, purchase order also here see nb means standard po NA means IC sales like this clear so I will be able to select which is the right material type which is the right document type that is very important okay so bringing the technical is important everyone should do it whether you are on dedicated server or public server first you do this activity before you start any transaction 
is very important okay right now i am going to show the initial metal master creation steps and i just want to tell you please do not make any changes to other materials especially if it is assigned to somebody else i am going to use these trng materials right which mean training materials don't touch those materials whoever is having this dedicated server you will have your own material wait for that you will see that okay so that will come next week when you are starting this metal mass creation you will get it okay i mean uh, next session you will be we will doing it so now let us see the demonstration so when i come into this demonstration so here let me go to the mm01 okay go to mm01 to create the metal master so let me give the what is the metal code here for example i want to create one material which is having sgmc tr and the cp10171 code and then i am giving the metal type i can select any metal type suitably right for whoever people are practicing i will give you the metal code and also what is the suitable metal type also will give you so that you will create the right material type with the right materials that is important for our course practice okay because everything you know it depends on those things so when you create metal master you should be very careful in selecting the right metal type okay don't create anything wrong and now after this you know the industry sector is not available right so what we do go to the default i went to the default i saw that you know industry sector it was showing m okay and then when i go to the inside i am to showing basic data one two and other details so i am selecting them and then i can go inside right so when i go inside the material you know the uh, metal master creation now the system is showing that uh, what is the plant what is the store location the organization details it is showing so i am going inside so here for this material okay i just gave it i just want to come out to come out of this one i go and press this green back button it is not coming because the description is the mandatory field without giving any description i cannot come out i give some test because i want to come out i don't want to save this item okay you can try it but the basic information is mandatory i give it similarly metal group is also mandatory so now i just want to come out without selecting other views now the system is asking whether to save or not i come out without saving you also please follow this without saving please come out okay so now what i do next step is i go to this metal master i can copy from other metal also not only i can create the metal fresh i can copy from other metal for example i am creating 1017 copying from 1p10 cp1005 it is to make it easy and also see a default industry sector it is mechanical engineering that i selected material type is there now i keep proceeding i give these views select the views and i have to tell the system in which plant and our store location i have to create and from where i have to copy from which plant which view right then i select it see here now whatever the cp1005 those details are appearing here i need to go and update what is the suitable details for the cp1017 here right all these things i will explain you when i am showing that how to create the basic data 1 and 2 in the next session right we are going to see that but this is here i am telling we can create a view see all the cp1005 details are copied into this particular cp1017 which means i can create a material afresh or i can copy from other metal also both the options are there when i copy from others all these parameters like purchase parameter mrp parameters those things are copied from the other material the source material so i have to just go and update what is required for the cp1017 i don't need to update them anything so whenever i am creating any material it is a similar metal i can do it at the same time caution has to be there i should not just like that adopt the parameter something wrong okay be careful here right so now i go here again to the metal master through but mm menu path i go there so this is the metal master create immediately there is also option to create the metal with a schedule i go and do it i can schedule it when it has to be created the change rate which is scheduled for which date that also we can do so there is a schedule option and also there is option to create the materials based on the material types there are some special transaction codes are there in general i am not using it okay in general i am using always mm01 but here for each material type there is one creation code i can select one of these things and start creating for example mmr1 i go and give some metal name here it is similar to that mm01 
but uh, the metal type and other things they should come as a default no whatever as per that uh, material type what they define no as per that they should come but in general i am not using it that's what i am telling but there are options if you want to do you can do it but i will not uh, do that okay i just told you that there is an option which is available okay so i am creating and doing it again see descript man mandatory items just i am filling then only it allow me to come out when i ever whenever i come out which is not relevant to me i will not save it that is what you have to keep in mind don't disturb anybody else materials okay for you you will have your own materials to create and play okay right we will see all these creation of materials and other things in a session like uh, create a new metal copy from other metals all these things then you will also do your uh, assignment so that you will get more comfortable meanwhile the metal master data screens used in processing metal master records they are subdivided into two type of screens one is the main data screens other is the additional data screens main data screens are used by the user departments like a base data material planning purchasing costing accounting etc additional data means these are the screens we use to maintain additional information like unit of measure metal description consumption values forecasting data etc here we see the additional data details i go to the mm03 to display the material because i already created some additional data views uh, here i select the metal sgmc rm rm1001 here i give the plant uh, store location here sorry i, I use the cp1001 uh, these are basic on basic data these are all the main data okay main views these are all main views now if i want to see the additional data views what i should do whatever i'm saying now main views additional data see there is a tab on the top see additional data i click here go inside see the description i give here the description different languages the cover in english then in french then italian then other languages then unit of measurement i have a measurement of in one carton i can keep 12 pieces like that then there is a document data that is another tab like this various tabs are there to keep the additional data and also long text for example there is a party character description is not sufficient we want to give long thing we can do it then using main data i come out then this is the main page i am here like this additional data other we will again maintain these details when i create the metal master when you practice you will get more idea in metal master there are some parameters which are maintained by users there are some parameters which are updated by system most data on metal master record are maintained directly by the users like a unit of measure metal description purchasing group mrp parameters like that but there are some parameters which are automatically updated by the system when you like for example when you enter the goods movements system will update the stock and consumption details in the metal master and also through the information icon on the metal master we can call the statistical information of the material and see the details similarly there are some parameters which are maintained in the metal master they are only for information purpose like a unit of measurement metal descriptions purchasing group mrp controller those kind of things but there are some parameters which are used for some functioning and controlling parameters like mrp type used for mrp procedure price control determines what is the metal valuation processing like that now let us see that how to see the metal information details by selecting one material here i go to mm03 so here i select this rm1001 i go inside so i selected the views put the plant and store location store location is 1711c i go inside see here there is a icon here no i i is the information icon okay information of material information on material when i click it see it is showing metal description industry sector m metal type the level code means it is in part of some bom what is the level of this metal in that bom that is what is showing here and also it is created by whom on which date last change by whom and also what are the status information there is no problem and the client level information plant level details and the store location details these things we just now we discussed right sometime back in the beginning of the session details are maintained at client level plant level store location level no? like this the details are available we can see them in the information icon through that 
and also i uh, showed you that uh, i will show you that how the consumption details are updated and other details later no when you are creating the metal master okay so in this session we discuss various types of materials what are the key parameters which are required to input to create a metal master also what are the different metal master views metal master parameters based on various other factors now let us go through the quiz of this session to refresh our knowledge what are the key mandatory keys right what are the keys mandatory to create a metal master what is the maximum length of a metal core number range for metal cores are defined based on metal types true or false metal code 1234578900 and another metal code abcd1001 which is acceptable logic give names of some few metal types name a few fields converted sorry covered in the additional data tab what are the fields which are covered in the additional data tab all parametral metal master are maintained by users true or false all parameters in metal master are used for controlling purpose is it true is it possible to create a new metal type than the standard metal types defined in the sap s4 hana a company is buying a raw metal to produce a component this raw metal is also sold what is the suggested metal type for this raw metal what is the nature of trading goods let us see the answers in the next session so whoever is watching this session please practice these things you create favorites and with a folder called pp and mm and add some transactions start to practice this whoever is experienced you may do it already but who are new or who have not done it like these things please do this also update your screen settings to show the drop down list which you learnt in this session and display different views of few sbnc trading materials this is specifically for the people who have got the dedicated server there i created the training materials you can go and open and see them but please do not change any of those things just to display using mm03 so in this session we discuss the initial keys which are used to create a metal master the next session we will discuss parameters and basic views and also we will start creating metal master whatever clarifications you need please put them in the comment section comment section and section yes they will be answered then and there meanwhile if you want to practice the course along with me and also if you are interested in getting the dedicated server please contact me in the email given here meanwhile suggest your friends and colleagues so that they can also subscribe and get benefit of this knowledge sharing session thank you see you in the next session take care bye